Hi everyone, uh, in this uh, brief session we will uh, answer the question uh, whether we should use pressure control uh, versus volume control uh, mode of ventilation in the uh, ventilatory management of uh, ARDS. Uh, so let's say that we have a patient with ARDS with an ideal body weight of 70 kilos and static compliance of 20. That is defined as a change of volume divided by the change of pressure, which is plateau minus PEEP. Before we go into the different modes of mechanical ventilation, let's just review the elements of protective lung strategy that we have to adhere to. Number one, tidal volume should be 4 to 6 ml per kg. Number two, plateau pressure should be less than 30 cm of water, preferably less than 28 cm of water. Number three, driving pressure less than 18, preferably less than 15 cm of water. And number four, appropriate, appropriate PEEP for the FiO2. Now, if we decide to put this patient on pressure control mode of ventilation with a pressure control of 26 and PEEP of 12, we will have a static compliance of 20 equal to the fixed parameter is the uh, pressure control that is 26 minus 12, a driving pressure of 14. That will result into a tidal volume, a delivered tidal volume of 280 ml. And this is a variable that is related to how much the patient's static compliance. If any change in the static compliance, the pressure will be fixed and the volume will be variable. On the other hand, if we put the patient on volume controlled mode of ventilation with a tidal volume of 280 and PEEP of 12, the formula will be compliance of 20 will equal to a fixed tidal volume, which is 280. And the variable parameter would be the pressure. The pressure will be variable dependent on the patient's compliance. So in the first condition, if the compliance worsened, decreased from 20 to 12, the pressure will remain the same. It's a controlled variable. And the volume will change from 280 to 168. In the volume control mode of ventilation, if the compliance decreased to 12, the volume will remain the same. In order to deliver that volume, the pressure has to go up to 35 minus 12, and that would be driving pressure of 23. In the first case, the patient will result into hypoventilation with a tidal volume less than 4 ml per kg. <clears throat> In the second case, the patient will have a higher pressure than what it is recommended in the protective lung strategy. So let's see what happens with improved compliance. In pressure controlled mode of ventilation, the same control will be given with the improvement of compliance from 20 to 34. That pressure of 26 minus 12, a driving pressure of 14, will result in delivering higher tidal volume than the 280. It will be total of 476 ml of tidal volume. In volume control mode of ventilation, the control is the tidal volume. So the machine will try to deliver the fixed tidal volume of 280. However, with the improved compliance from 20 to 34, that tidal volume can now be delivered with less pressure. So the plateau pressure required to deliver that tidal volume decreases from 26 to 20, with the driving pressure decrease from 14 to 8. So the same tidal volume is now delivered with lower pressure as a result of improved compliance. So that means according to the protective lung strategy, in the first case here, the patient will end up having a higher tidal volume 
than what it is recommended by the protective lung strategy. And in the second case here, that tidal volume that is within the protective lung strategy will be delivered with even lower pressure. So this is going to be adhering to the protective lung strategy, but in the pressure control ventilation, the patient will receive a higher tidal volume than what it is recommended. Order to avoid these complications, it is better to set the patient on a dual control where we can control both volume and pressure. And we can do that by limiting the pressure. So by putting a pressure limit of 30, we can assure that the machine will not exceed a pressure of 30, even if the tidal volume is not delivered. And we can, we can do that with a PRVC, pressure regulated volume controlled, or you can do it with the, any volume control mode of ventilation by putting pressure limit. However, with BRVC, the pressure with, will be regulated up and down gradually. So if we put the patient on PRVC and he's on tidal volume of 280 with a compliance of 20, the driving pressure needed is 14 with a plateau pressure of 26 and the beep of 12. If the compliance is increased, uh, I'm sorry, it is decreased from 20 to 12, what is needed to deliver the 280 would be a plateau pressure of 35. And since we have a limit on the plateau pressure, so the plateau pressure cannot be exceeding the value of 30, despite the fact that it will not result into the same type of volume that is set on the machine. So the driving pressure of 18 now will deliver only 216, less than the set tidal volume on the control. But this way, we will ensure that the patient stays within the protective lung strategy by not exceeding the blood flow pressure of 30 and the tidal volume will be slightly lower. Thank you very much.